Yo, what is up guys? Kansas Marvel here, back at it again with another LEGO DC Super Villains video. Alright guys, so uh, in today's video, we're going to be continuing on with our um, 80 years, Marvel 80 years uh, anniversary customs. And uh, for today's character, I decided to go ahead and make Namor, who is probably my favorite, my, uh, yeah, my favorite uh, Marvel character of all time. Man, I love Namor, he, you know, I think he just looks so awesome. He's such a cool character, you know. And I like that he's not really a hero, he's more of an anti-hero, you know, he's, he's, some, he's sometimes he's kind of evil and then other times... I would say most of the time he's he's pretty good, but you know sometimes he is evil. Um, but yeah, man. So Namor, you know, he was uh, along with the the Android Human Torch. He was, I believe, the, like Marvel's very first hero, or he appeared in like the first com Marvel comic book, because I believe it was um, uh, it was the, the Human uh, or the Android Human Torch, and then um, it was Namor and some other characters, if I'm not mistaken. But yeah, he, he was like one of the very very first characters to appear in any Marvel comic. So that's pretty, that's, you know, that's a pretty cool fun fact. But yeah, let's go ahead and get started, guys. Alright, so for the head, you want to go over to head and go over to preset. And uh, the head I used for Namor was just, um, I believe it was just Superman's. Um, let's see. Uh, yeah, I think I just went with Superman's. I think either one of those heads works fine, but I like the way Superman's look. Well, actually, you know what? Yeah, I think I'm going to go with Shazam. I like the way that looks better. The eyebrows are more, like, curved, because he has some very curved uh, eyebrows, Namor. Alright, so for the hair, you want to go all the way down to... Um, uh, you want to go down to Beast Boy, you want to go ahead and get Beast Boys. Uh, for color number one, you want to go ahead and make him black, so you can go ahead and make his hair black. And then for color number two, you want to go ahead and make it... Uh, I would say this color, but um, I actually prefer this color for Namor, because it's a little bit more of a like a darker, tannish color. Namor isn't like that, you know, that like pink, you know, kind of like... He's more of a tanner color, or I would imagine he'd be more of a tanner color. So actually, let me go ahead and change the color of his head as well, because that's not the right color. Alright, there we go. I know he looks a little bit, like, yellowish, but uh, once you get, like, the whole thing, like, the whole outfit together, or not the whole, well, yeah, the whole custom together, he's gonna look a lot better. I <laughs> like the color's gonna look a lot better. Alright, so for the body, you wanna go over to custom body, uh, you wanna go to custom body number five, uh, you wanna go ahead and make color number one the same color as his head, and then color number two, you wanna go ahead and make it black, and then you wanna go ahead and get rid of that, uh, rainbow thing in the middle, well, you, you guys might not have it, but make sure he doesn't have any, uh, like, decal color, or a decal on his chest there. Uh, so for the legs, you want to go all the way up to blank and go ahead and make them the same color as his torso and his head. All right, now so for the um, for the hips, now he, I'm going to be making the the Namor in his uh, speedos, <laughs> not really the one where he's like wearing his like armor, because um, this is just how he appeared. Like his first appearance was him in his in his speedos. So I went ahead and went ahead and went with Hawkman's, and I went with Hawkman's because he does have some gold like on top of his underwear. So this has a little bit of gold there. Which I think looks really cool, and I think it looks much better than if I was to give him, like, for example, um, this Needed Warrior piece, or, uh, this, um, or just, like, a blank green piece. I think it looks much better like this, with a little bit of gold on the hip area. Alright, so for the hands, you want to go ahead and just make them, uh, just a regular skin tone color, and then for the arms, you want to go, uh, I believe I used, uh, Felix Faust, if I'm not mistaken, so it's going to be somewhere up here. Uh, or no, I used Dr. Fates. Uh, you want to go ahead and make them, uh, the same skin color. So I went with Dr. Face because they have that uh, gold, uh, like, uh, bands, I guess, or I'm not exactly sure uh, which you would call them. I know they're not, like, they're not gauntlets, I don't know. But yeah, you just want to go ahead and give me that with a little bit of gold there on the uh, the wrist area. Alright guys, so for the effects, um, for the he for the effects, I went ahead and just gave him a blue. Because he, he is, uh, yeah, that blue right there is like a water blue. You know, he, I'm going to be giving him, like, water-based colors, so I'm going to give him the... The color I think it looks so cool, man. I love Namor. He's such an awesome character. All right, guys. So for health, um, you want to go ahead and make it uh death blue. Yeah, I guess we're gonna make it teal. Uh, health type, make sure it's standard. Voice, make sure he has a male voice. Target reticle. Um, I think I'm gonna go with Captain Cold just because it's blue. But you could probably go with Captain Cold or Mercy Graves. Oh, sorry guys, how are you on there? All right. So for the animation style, just leave it normal. It doesn't really matter. Uh, for the weapons, I went over to Stabs, and I went ahead and gave him his trident, because, you know, this is his key, uh, or was, you know, this is his weapon, his trident, and you want to go ahead and make it, um, uh, you want to go ahead and make it gold. So a lot of people get this confused, you know, they, they think Namor is, uh, like a copy of Aquaman, but actually it's the opposite, you know, because uh, Aquaman, or Namor was actually one of the very f uh, first characters that could fly, I think he could fly even before Superman, which is, you know, pretty cool, uh, and uh, he, came, he came way before Aquaman, or not way before, but he did come before Aquaman. So yeah, let's go ahead and uh, go over to the uh, skills, I believe. So for uh, triangle, you want to go ahead and leave it blank. For X, you want to go ahead and give him uh, flight because he can't fly. His wings, he, he's able to fly with his wings. Uh, for X, you want to go ahead and hold a hyper jump. 
Um, for tap circle, we'll, for tap square, we'll leave a blank. For hold, for hold, we'll go ahead and give him a water beam coming out of his uh, his trident. So let's actually first let's make sure we give him the uh, the water type beam. So I think it's gonna be yeah, it's gonna be style number three. Uh, color, make sure it's the same water color. Looks pretty cool. And then for the uh, origin, we're going to give it to his trident. You can give it to his trident or to his hand; doesn't really matter. And then for the um for the actual damage, I guess we'll make it ice beam. That's the closest to water. All right, so we tap circle. We'll go ahead and give him bolts coming out of his uh, trident again. So we'll go ahead and make the the color of the bolts uh, blue. So let's make, let's make that blue. Uh, damage. I guess for this, we'll go ahead and make it explosive bolts. Um, color blue, um, origin, I guess we'll go with the trident again, and then for bolt style, we're going to give him a water one. So is it that one? It might, I don't even know. It might be. <laughs> we're going to give him targeting. Uh, for hole, we're going to give him a, an explosion attack, like a water explosion attack. Um, so we'll go with... Uh, effect. Yeah, we'll go with effect four, and then for the style, let's see. Um, for the style, I guess we'll go with, um... I guess we'll go with the style number two. Yeah, I like that one. It looks pretty cool. All right, and then for this, we're going to give it silver explosions. Uh, the color, we're going to make it this like lightish blue. And then for the okay, we already, we already did, went that. <laughs> All right, guys. So moving on to the skills. All right, so for skills, we'll leave uh, we'll leave the grapple off. No technology. We'll give him acrobat. Uh, no mind control. No telekinesis. Wall climbing. Smash wall. Super strength. Chlorokinesis because he, he could use his water to like make plants grow. Um. We're going to give him beam deflect with his shrine, I guess. Uh, no goon command. Well, I guess he he could, because he is like the ruler of Atlantis, king of Atlantis, or whatever. But we'll leave it blank. Uh, we'll leave X-ray off. Uh, should we give him graffiti? Uh, no graffiti. Uh, tracking. Uh, no hazard. Oh, sorry guys. I don't even know. I'm yawning too much. <laughs> um, I'm kind of tired, I guess. Uh, we'll leave illumination off, and we'll give him stealth. Well, actually, no stealth. So actually, let's go ahead and give him goon command. Alright guys, so that's pretty much it for uh, custom. We'll go ahead and give him neutral for the status. Because again, he's more of an anti-hero than like a full hero. But yeah guys, let's go ahead and take our Namor out to the Metropolis hub world and showcase him around. Mm -hmm. So let me actually quickly change over to uh, uh, to Aquaman. So yeah man, I think this uh, this Aqu this Namor is like a really pretty uh, pretty accurate man. Like, like if you're going for the classic version of, Na of Namor, like his, in, in his uh, like underwear, Speedos. This is, you know, as close as you're going to get, I really would imagine, you know. And, except, you know, the wings on his feet, he doesn't have those. Which is probably the biggest flaw in this design. But I still think it looks pretty cool, man. So, yeah, here he is, our custom Namor in LEGO DC Super Villains. And, man, I gotta say, I love this custom, man. <laughs> like I said before, uh, I'm a huge fan of Namor. Probably my favorite, um, favorite Marvel superhero. Because if he's not, like, my favorite, he's definitely, like, top three, I would say. And I, just, I just think Namor is such a cool character. Um, let's go ahead, and I was so happy whenever they introduced him in, um, uh, like, I, when I found out they were adding him in the Marvel Contest of Champions. It just sucked, though, because, like, um, his arena came out the same day, uh, we were on the road, because we, whenever we were going to Mexico. So I wasn't able to get him, which kind of sucked, because, like I said, uh, Namor, you know, was, uh, was, is my favorite hero, and whenever he came out in Marvel Contest of Champions, I really wanted to get him. So it was, it was too bad I wasn't able to get him. But hopefully I get him soon, man. I love Namor. He's such a cool character. <laughs> Alright, so let's see. Let's just go ahead and showcase some of his powers, I guess, because I'm pretty sure we're running short on time. So, as you can see, I gave him his uh, water beam. It's kind of dumb how you can't, like. I guess I shouldn't have given him, given him freeze for that, because it's kind of annoying, you know, whenever I freeze the cops. I mean, it's kind of cool, I guess. Let's go ahead and see. Let's go ahead and showcase his bolts. What the heck? Oh, I can't actually shoot his bolts. Every time I press circle, he like does that. It's kind of annoying. All right, guys, let's go. Let's go ahead and find a safe spot to end this video. I think I'm gonna go over to the water just because it suits him. Let's go over here, I guess. All right, guys. So that was a video. That was a video. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed it and liked this custom. Uh, stay tuned for m more of my uh, 80 year anniversary Marvel customs. Thank you guys for watching. Have a great day, guys. Please remember to like, comment, and subscribe. See you on the next video. Take care. Peace.